Hello everyone, Dan from the Beautiful Bros here. You join me on level 12 of Tomb Raider. You know, we're in Egypt now on the hunt for the third piece of the ski on the legendary artifact of Atlantis. Who knows what dangers could await us. But first of all, let's uh, have a quick look about, see what's going on here. So we've got ourselves some magnum clips, very nice indeed. Hit the wall there, unfortunately. More concussion. Um, there's a, some sort of slot there. Looks like... Um, Looks like it could be a scarab beetle, and there's a medikit on the other side of the gate. Some more magnum clips over here. Excellent. So I'm actually going to equip my magnums as well. Because the monsters are getting a bit more dangerous, you know, I need a bit of additional firepower. And there's the actual scarab. So that's what we need to open the other gate. So I think the only way we can really go is up the stairs. So there's a, some sort of monster in the distance. Haven't got a lock on yet. Now I've got a lock, which is good. Could start to take them out. They're like skinned horses or something like that. Oh, I got I got hit by a blast. Right, that was good. Yeah, they're like skinless horses, mummified skinless horses or something like that. I don't know. But the main thing was we took them out, so we can progress deeper into the level. So, yeah, we've got some magnum clips. They'll come in handy. Pick them up. Head up through this uh, gap in the ceiling, it looks like. And we come out into a large cave by the looks of things. Looks like we're on top of a sphinx. We'll have to get a bit of a better view of that in a minute. I saw a large medipack over here, which is very nice. Some sort of rampway leading up there. Save point above. Doesn't look like we can get up there, to be fair. No, we can't get up there yet, so we'll have to try and get up there from another, another way. I can hear groaning in the background. Oh dear, oh dear, I've been ambushed. These monsters are absolute psychopaths. They're so deadly. Right, got to have a health pack. I wasn't expecting that at all, to be fair. But we took him out, and now we can slide off the edge, I think. Right, let's have a quick look about, get our bearings. Right, we've got a door there, so we'll have to remember that. And some magnum clips, but we've got another villainous beast. That one's shooting at me. We took him out, we took a bit of uh, explosive damage there, unfortunately. We've got some more magnum clips, so that's good. You know, we can keep our uh, magnum bullets topped up. Let's start to explore a little bit. So it looks like there's some ramps over there. There's loads of platforms up there. Look at all those platforms. Tre very treacherous indeed. And there we've got the Sphinx. Very nice indeed. Look at that. Great graphics. Very good. Right, okay. So let's head out over here. Looks like we can definitely get up onto this block. Start to work our way up, see what's going on. Yep, this is good, we can get up there most definitely. Right, so a few more sound issues, unfortunately. Right, let's keep going. So we're starting to get to. Uh, you know, quite dangerous heights now. You know, if we fall off, we're going to be uh, we're going to be slaughtered, basically. Yeah, you can see the old sphinx off in the in the distance, in the shadows. Looks like there's something on his head, like a save point or something like that. I can just about see it in the distance. But anyway, let's keep progressing up. Right, and we've got a save point. Excellent work. 
and I can hear slicers so we've got to be very careful definitely got to save don't want to get chopped in half and we've got a small medikit there very nice right so we've got um, a gate or a switch or something up ahead which is good we've got a sheer drop down so we've got to be careful and there we go so it's a switch let's flip the switch and see what happens so another door has opened which is good but I'm not too sure where that door is to be fair um, and I can see a small medipack down there will a double jump make it that is the question or standing jump I should say let's give it a go I'm sure it'll be fine right there's some sort of monster over there right let's try and take him out I don't want him to knock me off the edge oh I thought I was going to get knocked off there we took him out that was good work and we've got a large medipack very nice so I think we can just drop off here to be fair yeah there's a ramp down there that's good Oh, 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 that was close. That was a mistake. Now I've got to cut out these stupid mistakes. You know, I almost died there. Right, so let's see if, I mean, we can probably get up on another platform over here somewhere. I mean, that looks like it doesn't lead anywhere. But I think there's, um, yeah, I mean, it looks like we can get up there so we can go exploring a little bit further. So we still need to try and unlock that door that we saw when we slid off of the Sphinx. Right, so it looks like a running jump might be okay for that, to be fair. Let's keep progressing up the cliffside. No sign of anything that interesting at the moment. There's definitely platforms up there, so let's keep working our way around. Is that a crack for shimmying? I think it is. So that's a good sign. Let's jump up and shimmy across. So obviously those slanted uh, blocks, you know, they'll you'll slide off them and you'll fall to your death, unfortunately. Right, we should be okay to land that on there. That's good. And vault up onto this block here so I assume yeah we just keep heading round sort of we've got to double back on ourselves now we're at really uh, really high levels now we've got to be very careful indeed you know one false move and we'll be splatted basically oh and there was the false move and a backflip as well to add insult to injury Oh dear, that was very bad indeed. You know, I've got to concentrate a little bit more there. But anyway, I've got, I've got the general idea, you know. I can't exactly remember where it went wrong previously. I think I overjumped or something like that. So maybe just take one step back just to make extra sure, you know. Yep, that works. And then do the same again, you know. You just don't want to overjump. Is that a double? Yeah, that's a double, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure what to do here. I don't think a double, a standing jump is good enough, but, you know, like, a running jump's going to be far too much, I think. Um, right, let's do a running jump and curve it a little bit to take a bit of the distance off. Right, and uh, I can see a switch ahead. Excellent work there. Right, so I've got to do a jump and then a jump, basically. Oh no, that's okay. I didn't think I could land on that platform. I thought it was too sloped, but it was fine. And the save point, we're definitely going to save. Excellent work there. We've redeemed ourselves a little bit. Right, so in front of me, can you see that in the darkness? There's like a pair of Uzi clips. 
So that's like a, uh, the secret of this level. I always remember that secret because it's quite a good one. But you've, try and, you've got to try and get onto the secret platform. Right, so I'm assuming more of those flying beasts are going to try and attack. Now that we've flipped the switch. Can't see any... Oh, there we go. There he is. So she, yeah, that's it. She's got a lock on him. Right, so I almost got knocked off the edge there. That was a bit unfortunate. Well, it's a bit lucky, to be fair. Right, so I saw some shotgun shells. We're going to try and get those. Looks like we've got to do a running jump there and curve it round a bit. Yeah, that's good work. Got the shells. So I think that is the platform that you can use to jump to the Uzi clips. I didn't want the camera to change there, that was a bit annoying. You know, this is a this is a very tough jump, you know, you've gotta you've gotta use all of your energy to get to that ledge. This is more shotgun shells. So let's go and grab the shells. Right, and then where are these Uzi clips? So they're over there, so we've got to get to that platform over there basically. I think that's a running jump. Yep, that's good work. And now we should be able to jump onto the Uzi platform. Yep, there it is, right in front of us. So, to be fair, I think I'm quite nicely lined up here. Yep, let's give it a go, see what happens. Oh, we made it, excellent work there. We made it to the secret platform. And we've got ourselves some Uzi clips. Oh, actually, I think we've got the Uzis as well, very nice. Yep, we've got the Uzis. Excellent work there. Very powerful and fast submachine gun there. So there's something on top of the Sphinx's head over there. There's a safe... Right, oh, careful, careful. This is really treacherous. I don't know if we're going to survive this. I was too busy celebrating. I was celebrating getting Uzis and I didn't, didn't think about flying monsters. But luckily we took one out and hopefully we're going to take the second one out as well. Yep, we took them out. That's good work. So now the, probably the hardest part is we've got to try and get back onto this ledge. I'm assuming we can just go back here. Yep, that's good work. And I think we can just drop down there as well. And head on up the other side of the cliff. And there's a doorway, excellent. So can we drop down there? Let's give it a go. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, those flying beasts, absolute savage. Absolute savages, you know. Can we get up there? I think I might have dropped down a bit too far, to be fair. Now this looks okay. Looks, oh, a mistake! Another mistake. Slack work. It's very annoying. But as soon as we get up to, um, oh, that's probably okay actually, because I can get some more magnum clips. As soon as we get up to that room, um, um, we can get to another save point, which is good.
and we definitely need to save our game again. There we go, we're almost at the door now, which is good. Almost there, keep going. And we definitely got to save. Save immediately, you know, save all that good work that's been done, especially with the secrets. Right, I heard something. It's a centaur. He's lobbing, lobbing pink things at me. I took an absolute beating there, unfortunately, but I took him out. Have we got any stuff on the floor? Yep, there's a medi pack. And we've got a bit of treasure, which looks like another ank. Excellent work there. I can't remember what the second lever actually did. I was too distracted by uh, the flying beasts. But hopefully it's um, opened up that door at the bottom of the Sphinx. So we should be able to just drop down to our left to get back on top of the Sphinx. Yeah, that's good. We can drop down there. Alright, so I'll just have to try and have a quick look to see if this um, door has been opened. Yep, that's good. The door's open. So let's progress into this area and see what's going on. Right, I'm not sure what to do here, to be fair. Let's have a look. So that's how you get out of the water. So what's the point in this ramp? Can you jump onto a ledge or something like that? Ah, oh, there you go. Look, there's a, there's a little crack. So you just got to slide down backwards and then grab the ledge and shimmy along. Excellent work there. <clears throat> What we got? We've got some clips. And we've got another doorway. So let's head on up into the doorway and see what's going on. So it looks like there's another drop down there. Let's see what's going on here. So steps down into water by the looks of things. I can see a medi kit or something at the bottom of the water. Let's just take a quick look up here, see what's going on. It's probably another ramp, isn't it? Probably another ramp or something like that. Yeah, so I'm assuming you've got to try and jump onto that bridge. Let's just give it a go and see what happens. Yep, that was good. I'm pleased with that. First time lucky. So we've got a door, but you know, the door's locked, unfortunately. Oh well, um, we need to find a lever, that means. Unless it opens automatically. Nope, it's shut. Great. So I did all that great, you know, you know, jumping and grabbing onto ledges, and I didn't even need to. Alright, so we've got a key here. What do we do with the key? Is it a sapphire key? That's a gold key. 
Right, where does the gold key go? I didn't see any locks. Unless it was at the other side of the bridge or something like that. Right, let's give this another go. Yeah, there it is. Look, there's the keyhole there. Right, so let's use the old key. Open up the door, progress a little bit deeper into the level. Pistols at the ready in case there's a, a villainous beast. Yep, thought as much. They're very clever, they always run off. I have to take a, another medi pack. Yeah, I'm not aligned up very well, unfortunately. Right, that's better. Yeah, it took him out. You know, they, they explode on death. You know, very dangerous indeed. Very, very dangerous. And we've got a save point, so I will definitely save at this stage. Good work there. So it looks like another ank. So we will definitely be taking that. And, um, yeah, in terms of stuff to do, we've got to um, inspect the head of the Sphinx and see what's going on with him. I wonder if you can just do like loads of backflips up the stairs to save a bit of time. Let's give it a try. No, you've got you've got to be right on the edge. Still, it's probably probably quicker than uh, running and hanging. That's for sure. Right. Yeah, I suppose I want to go back the way I came. Somehow we've got to get get onto the Sphinx, get back up there. I'm not sure how to do that exactly. But anyway, let's head out the door. Maybe we can, yeah, it looks like we can get up there, maybe. Yep, excellent work. We can get up here. But from here I don't know where to go. Right, maybe that's no good. Doesn't look like you can do anything from there. There's a door there. We have to remember that. I think the sand's a bit higher around this side, so there might be a better chance of getting up onto the Sphinx. I don't particularly want to do any more mountaineering. Right, yeah, we're going to have to go all the way around by the looks of it. Unless you can jump up there. Possibly, yep, okay, that's good. But, yeah, you can't really get around. Oh, there, you can get up there, that's good. Excellent work, excellent work. I bet there's another monster waiting. I bet you any money. No, it looks just very quiet up here now. So there's where we've got to get to, obviously. Right, so I'm assuming we've got to jump to the lowest part of the uh, platform. So jump from the highest corner to the lowest edge of the platform. Yeah, that's good work. 
And then I suppose we can jump on his head. Excellent. So what we got there? We look, we've got a key slot over there. What, what do we do? Ah, oh, we put an ank in there. That's good. Put an ank in. <clears throat> right, it's pointing towards the door, which is good, but the door hasn't opened, so there's obviously another slot. But I remember there was a save point round near the Sphinx's uh, face, so with any luck, the other slot will be there as well. Yep, that looks good. Yep, there's the other slot. <laughs> Look at this, it's very high up indeed. Right, and we've opened the door, which is very good indeed. Save the game. Yep, nice work there, good work. Right, oh, that was careful, almost, oh, that was close. I almost ran off the uh, the edge of the Sphinx's face. There's no easy way of getting down over there. So that's the way that's the way we came into the level. So yeah, let's slide off the Sphinx and then go through the double doors. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You you got to be a bit more careful than that, unfortunately. I thought that would be fine. You know, it's a long way up there, so I was getting a bit ahead of myself. I was excited. I wanted to see what was through the doors. But luckily, you know, I saved it only a moment earlier, so I'm not too bothered. So we're definitely fine to slide down this way. And we're back on the ground level, very good. <coughs> Great, so where is this going to lead us? Oh, there's some clips. Yep, very nice. Good spot there. Right, so what have we got going on here? We've got a massive hole leading into water. That's quite a big drop. And we've got two submerged... Sculptures, one of Anubis and one of Horus, the two Egyptian gods there. So let's go and top up our oxygen quickly. Right, let's go and swim to the bottom. We've got to look for levers or something like that. There's something there, there's a key, there's some shotgun shells. And it's just doozy clips. Right, there's a door there. Right, so far so good. Get the old shells. Can you see anything else? No, nothing at the moment. I'll have to swim back up in a minute because I'm going to run out of oxygen. Right, so we've got something down there. Not sure what it is. Can't get a decent camera angle. Yeah, we'll go and have a look there in a minute. It's going to take us a while to swim back to the surface. Right, okay, so let's top up on our oxygen. We'll go and swim beneath Anubis's legs. See what's going on down there. Look at this, this must be a... Uh, you know, several several meters deep. You know, at least a hundred meters deep. Right. So what we got here? We just got a door. Oh, there's a lever. Good. Let's flip the old lever. All oh, right. I'm caught in a current. Right. Okay. I'm getting dragged somewhere. Not too sure what's going on. But it's okay. I've uh, come out in a room.
Well, it looks like I can get up onto that block. Yeah, I just work my way around by the looks of things. Unfortunately, that pillar is blocking the uh, the straight jump, so I've got to try and do a long jump over onto this platform by the looks of it. Yep, that was nicely done there. So obviously we're inside a very important ritual and ceremonial complex, you know, honour paid to the two Egyptian gods, Anubis and Horus. You know, massive, gigantic sculptures. Right, so where are we now? Right, flying monster. Can't get a lock in on him yet. Very difficult to deal with those monsters. You know, I didn't want to get pushed off the edge, basically. But I'll save my game there. So I think I'm back out in the uh, the cavern where the gods are. The god statues are. Yeah, look, they're just down there below me. Um... Not sure where I've got to go from here, to be fair. Alright, we can drop down there, that's fine. So... Yeah, I don't think I can get round this way. I mean, I could probably do a curved jump, but do I want to? That's the question. I think I just need to head over this way by the looks of it. Let's give it a go anyway, see what happens. There doesn't seem to be anything up here. It's not very good, is it? Maybe I should have gone the other side. So you can't jump onto his nose. That's too far down. Yeah, I'm going to have to work back the other way now. Just fall off the edge. Is there anything on top? On top of Horus, is there any switches? Can't see anything. Oh, can't see much going on here at all, to be fair. It looks like the water levels decreased somewhat. <laughs> yeah, not sure what's going on here to be fair. Oh, this isn't very good. Not sure what to do, not sure what to do. I was hoping for a switch, but I can't see anything. There has to be a reason for draining the water. Ah, oh, there's a switch. Excellent, I've seen the switch. It's over on the um, it's over on Anubis, so hopefully we can get up there. Excellent work. Right, 
right, and that's opened opened another doorway, which um, I've been between Horace's leg, uh, but I've been between Anubis's legs, so now it's time to go between Horace's legs. So here we go. I wonder if I get caught by current again. No, there's no current in this room. Right, this is good. Excellent work. I've got a top up on my health. Some magnum clips. Whoever left those lying there will be absolutely gutted that I've pinched them. Wow, this is a bit of a trek. We're obviously going right up to the top of the um, Horus sculpture. Wow, what a, what a trek this is. Right, finally we've made it. We've got... Oh, right, okay. So we're back up to the start of the level where we've got the scarab. Excellent work. Right, I heard centre... Oh, my goodness, there's three of them. This is absolutely deadly. I can't believe how many enemies there were. That was hard work indeed. But I think we just saved it, or maybe we didn't. I can't remember. Might have to use the Uzis for those three villains. Alright, oh, excellent. We did just save it. That shows how good a memory I've got. Right, let's get the Uzis to work. I'm not messing about with three savage horse zombie type creatures right so let's get the Uzis ready, ready for punishment ready to bring the pain to this filth right two down one to go time to take out the trash Take out the zombie horse mummy trash. Right, excellent work there. You know, got a bit of revenge there. And then we can use the scarab. Excellent work. And we've got an, ourselves a nice large medipack. You know, to soothe our wounds. Well, careful, careful, careful. Oh, that was close. I thought it might have been a pit of spikes or something like that. Is that a hole up the end? There's like a little window. Ah, so we can see inside. There's something going on here. Is that... Is that Geezer? I thought I killed him. Oh well, I killed him now. Bad luck, old chum. Has he got anything on him? Has he got anything good? What a cheapskate, he hasn't got anything. Well, I'm not impressed with that. Right, let's do a bit of a scouting mission, see what's going on here. Ah, right, so there's there's another piece of the ski on. Excellent. So let's just check to see if there's any items lying about. But this fine sarcophagi. 
Now we're in like a burial chamber. No, there's nothing around here by the looks of it. Right, I'm just going to go up and grab the ski on then, I think. Anything down there? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's grab it. That's the third piece. We've got the third piece of the ski on. Excellent work there. You know, another again, another couple of terrible mistakes, but um, yeah, all in all, that went very well indeed. So um, yeah, I think we're up to level thirteen. I think. Right, let's let's work this out. Ten. Yeah, so that was level twelve. I think. So next is level thirteen. So join me again next time for level thirteen. I'll catch you later.